I think this year the bye week came at a really good time for us. Makes sense. See, if he turns back on you, it actually the next one you fail. Going into the bye week, it was it was a big week for us to rest up and you know to get some guys back that had been dealing with you know injuries. And I feel like most teams would suffer two big losses like that. It'd be very difficult to overcome, and the chances they'd be number five in the country aren't very high. I think that's a test to how well we practice, and prepare, and what Coach Signetti does throughout the week. Get some flex right there, your knee. Here we go. Hey. Looking for more rhythm and speed. Quick feet, though. Quick feet. Really good hands. Now I can almost just climb as well. It was definitely nice to have the time off and then to, you know, freshen up and then to come back and focus on, on this game at Rhode Island. I think it's been cool to see that other people are starting to notice what's going on here. We're fighters and we're here to stay. And um, We had a setback with the loss of Delaware, but that's not gonna affect us the way we play for the rest of the year. It's good to get the recognition, I guess, but we are still focused on winning one game at a time. We had a lot of confidence going into the game, had a good week of practice. We knew it was going to be a tough game, and it was going to be a fight all four quarters. We say good afternoon on homecoming 2018. As the Phoenix ranked fifth earlier this week in the FCS playoff seedings, welcome in the Rams of Rhode Island. So we knew they had a really good offense. They proved it with um, their quarterback loss and hitting Parker on a on a deep post across the middle. It was like a, it was a perfect throw. Guy made a great play, broke a tackle. He kind of took it as a challenge. Cross motion combo. Ended up scoring 21 on the answer points. The offense start kind of started to click. They were running the ball all over him. First and goal from the two. The snap given to McNair. Deshaun will simply bounce it to the outside and walk in untouched. And the Phoenix are a Skylar Davis point after away from tying things up. It was really cool to see how good the running game was that game. And the shotgun works with Jalen Thomas off of the left tip. I had to get inside leverage because the inside run to block the corner. The snap. Hand off given to Thomas. I look back and James is taking off. Jalen at that next level, 30, 35, 40, it's a foot race. He's about 15 yards in front of me and I, we just start running with him. 15, 10, five, touchdown, Elon. Jalen Thomas, 86 yards. It was just really good to see a young guy. And I mean, Jalen works hard. See him come back over the ankle injury and come back and be the starter and I mean, have a 200 plus yard day. I think it's I think it's very important that we establish that so teams know that we'll always have that run game man. It's really good for us to see how hard those guys work all week. I think we've got the best offensive line in the conference. We've got guys that have been starting for four years. Having the, the capability of running the ball and controlling the game ultimately and winning the time of possession battle is it's a huge weapon for our team. We're not, nobody's selfish on this team. And, um, I think we really, really do a good job of getting behind each other and being happy for each other. Um, love to see our running backs go for 220. I, I love to see our quarterbacks running all day, and I love to see when we throw the ball. Um, but more than anything, we love to win. So as long as we're doing that, um, we're always ready. 35 seconds left on the moving clock. Third down and 12. Lawson looking. Ball tipped and picked Warren Messer. 35, 40, 45, 50. We were all just running down the field and just yelling at Mess to get in the end zone. And he'll get the Calvary home and the touchdown. Mess had a really quick reaction and uh, ball fell right in his lap. Coach Trish talks a lot about, you know, if you if you get a chance to make a play, like make it. If you get your hands on the ball, catch the ball and go do something with it. 
for him to have the presence of mind to you know go and make the move and go score and um, it, it was really cool. Matt Baker with the tip and the Phoenix go to the explosive play on the defensive side and move it to the 13 point advantage. <laughs> We knew we had a great challenge. They had their quarterback back, who's unbelievable. And for us to go out there and, you know, hold them to, I believe, 21 points, that's, you know, that's not a bad day. <laughs> Holding them off at the end, it just kind of shows that the game's never over. Till it's over and you know we had the toughness to really finish it out and, and hold their offense so it was it was good a team is bigger than one or two guys a team is a team, and a team is full of intangibles. And what we have is a bunch of guys that are confident and a lot of good players. This team's had a lot of adversity this year, a lot. And they keep overcoming the adversity. Everybody knows that on any given Saturday, anybody can beat anybody. It's going to be a fight to the end, for sure. We're going to have to come out and play for four quarters. But we're prepared and we're ready and we're fighters. I think with this group of guys that, that we're gonna make it happen and it can. This is why you do it, you know, to play in these kind of games, to go out and play for conference championships. Things that, you know, we can only dream about are, are right in front of us and we have the opportunity and we just gotta take it one day at a time, one practice at a time, one play at a time. And then eventually everything will fall into place.